In today's video, we're checking out this beautiful 2019 Dusenberg. This is their Caribou in Narvik Blue. So an interesting kind of name there, but it has one of the best tremolo systems I've ever used. And I'll talk more about that in just a moment. I'm gonna break this video down into sections. So we're gonna hear it in the context of a jam track. I'll then go over to some isolated tones and I'll comment on this at the end of the video. If you wanna check this guitar out, I'll link it down to Jerry's Lefty Guitars in the description below. Let's do it. Let's check out this guitar up close. So the most striking feature is this tremolo arm. I think it looks really great. And if you've never played a Duesenberg before, these are some of the best that I've ever used personally. I think they might be the best tremolo system out there. The body on this guitar is made from solid American older, and we do get a sound hole or F hole here as well. We get a set neck design and a maple neck. This is a one piece maple neck as well. So there's no joins or anything on the back. We get an Indian rosewood fingerboard with a 12 inch fretboard radius. And if you take a look at the dots up close, they're the purloid style. When it comes to the pickups, we get a P90 style neck pickup and a humbucker in the bridge. And we also get that three way toggle switch. There's no push pull controls or anything on this guitar. It's very, very simple. I would say this would work great for someone who's already used to the simplicity maybe of a Telecaster and you're looking for something different. One of the things I loved about this as soon as I pulled it off the wall was considering how chunky it looks, it's very light, which is a really great thing. All right, let's kick it off with some clean tones. I'm plugged into a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe back here. And I'm also using a little bit of analog delay thanks to the Prisoner from Jux. This is the Neck P90 pickup, clean. Over to the bridge pickup, which is a humbucker. So the bridge pickup definitely has more perceived output and way more attack on the note as well. It's definitely got a big sort of full sounding humbucker in the bridge there. Let's go over to both pickups together, which gives you a very unique sound. It's quite a bit different to what I was anticipating. Here we go. Kind of got an out of phase sound, which isn't uncommon when you're mixing like a P90 and a humbucker together. It's definitely got a very different sort of voicing. Let's try the humbucker now with some dirt. Thanks to the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal. This is the left hand side only. I'm going to turn the delay pedal off. Here we go. Yeah. 
Over the neck pickup. Let's try the bridge pickup now, the humbucker with the volume control down. We'll see how much it cleans up. A little bit more. And all the way back up. The volume control makes this really dynamic. So if you turn down, it cleans up beautifully, even if you are using quite a bit of gain. Turn back up and there's your lead tone or heavy rhythm tone. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, we're gonna crank on the second channel of the VS Audio Royal Flush. You'll play some big chords and just sort of see how this sounds or hear how it sounds, this bridge pickup. One of the great things about this guitar, one of the major selling points is the engineering on this tremolo arm. The tuning stays great. So you can use this as much as you like and just get really great tuning stability, far better than a lot of other guitars. This might be one of the best out on the market when it comes to this big spring system here. It really does work well. Tonally, the bridge pickup is by far my favorite. The humbucker totally rocks. The neck pickup's good, but in a room with lots of camera equipment, electronics, we do get a bit of buzz in here, but that's just, because of the setup here, but the tones are really nice from the neck pickup with and without gain. You do get that sort of Peter Green out of phase thing going on when you've got the neck and bridge pickup working together. You'll either like that or you won't, but it's worth pointing out because everyone likes different things. In terms of its feel, this slim neck actually feels pretty great in the hand. I'm kind of shocked how much I'm digging it. I haven't had to think too much about the action or the setup or how it feels in comparison to other guitars. I think if you've played something like a Les Paul before and you're looking for something a little bit different, this would be a really great guitar. These are really well engineered. We get the locking tuners and all the good things that come with a guitar that's engineered this beautifully. So yeah, great guitar and it does, I should mention, feed back a little bit as you probably heard in the video when I cranked up the game. That's because this is a semi-hollow body and that's just inherent of that kind of design. But you get great sustain. Sometimes if it's up loud enough, you feel the wind coming out of the F-hole. It's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks again for watching. If you want to check this out, I'll link it below. Catch you soon. See ya.